So where are we at right now with the DistroCase 350P by Thermaltake? So far, this has been an awesome case to work with. I'll do a follow-up video when I'm all said and done with everything for the good, the bad, the ugly, the awesome, all that good stuff. Right now, this is about EKWB. This is the GPU water block that I'm using in this build. And unfortunately, uh, Thermaltake doesn't actually make a GPU water block specifically for this 3080. There's a long list of 3080s. And as far as I know, there's no manufacturer out there that makes a GPU water block for every single 3080 out there. So I was lucky to get a 3080 from HP Omen. Thank you, HP, again. Um, and this EKWB Velocity water block uh, has been an issue. Let's just say that. The very first one had cracks here, 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 here. Like, what's going on? So that got returned. This one, the jet plate is in the wrong position. And like, I'm like, what? So it, the jet plate is basically when you have water going into the block, it forces the water to go in a particular direction, spreads out among this like grill looking thing right here to give you more surface area and all that stuff. So right now it's cutting off part of that flow. It's lodged upwards where it needs to be just center. Like actually there's a groove specifically for that. It's not even in the groove. So in this video, I'm going to open this up. Uh, I took this out of the system last night, drained the system on a TikTok live, live stream. So follow me on TikTok. That was an interesting experience. Uh, shout out to all like 1600 of you that like joined me on the live stream. Awesome people. Uh, so let's just get into this. I'm talking too much and let's open this up and try not to break anything. So that's about it for this segment. I just wanted to get this GPU water block situation done. I'm really concerned about EK's manufacturing process right now. Granted, I understand the GPU market is upside down, so they're probably cranking these out faster than they ever have before. Um, but that's still no excuse. You know, when something comes off the assembly line, somebody can easily see if a jet plate is in the wrong position. And I don't know what's going on with the screws here, but my first GPU water block from them um, the screws were tightened too much, so they were cracking the, you know, the, the plexi right here. And then on this one, particularly because this is my second one, some of the screws weren't even screwed in, like, almost at all. So, like, I turned it just a little bit and they popped right out. That's not a good sign either. So, that could have led to this leaking on me eventually. So, in a way, this is kind of uh, a blessing in disguise that the jet plate was 
in the wrong position. So it forced me to open this up and notice that some of the screws just weren't screwed in. So I have been leak te testing this over time, but say two, three months over time of like water going through the system, all those vibrations, and then suddenly the screws that weren't screwed in well enough um, led to a leak. So that could have been bad. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with EK, but I do have some more EK material coming in the mail soon. Um, so they're trying to uh, uh, fight against a competitor, which would be kind of cool. So stay tuned for that video. And if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and share with all your friends and tell your parents that the poets has a new, another video. And I don't know, I'm just saying stuff now. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.